Good evening, brothers and sisters. As you can see by my voice, I'm not 100% yet, but I can cheer you up. It's not pain for anything, it's just groggy and dizzy. And it's come back again. So keep praying, keep praying. It'll pass. It's cold. But tonight I thought we'd look round. We are in the free fig tree generation, but we're not the fig tree generation. Interesting title. Um, we're going to take a look at Matthew and split it up. And have a real down home look at it to see what it's actually saying. Yeah, it's difficult because I can't I can't speak. I can't speak. Um but it's fine. I've been looking through you know me, my I haven't put a video out this afternoon on news simply because I just took a day off okay because of this i thought dude but what do i do when i take a day off and i'm up to it i i go to the word and i had to look at the end times you know before i start this the channel is about the promotion of the gospel of our lord jesus christ and the advancement of the kingdom of father god whereby if you confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and believe in your heart that god raised him from the dead you are saved if you're not saved and you want to be then type in the comments i want to be saved and we'll give you a description and we'll give you a place to go to an online 24 7 church but i thought let's break down the two areas that matter in the fig tree generation or matthew 24. who's it talking to what's a mystery and what's not a mystery so we've got it up on screen esword it's a program that is excellent just type in esword and you'll get there and you can download it for free. Uh, I use this now for a good few years. We've got all the Bibles on here. But here are my notes and here's the Bibles for tonight. Okay, and I've, I've done through this. But when we look at Matthew 24, so likewise you see all these things. Okay, what things? Now learn the parable of the fig tree. When his branches is yet tender and putteth forth leaves ye know summer is nigh and then he goes on uh, the lord goes on in 24 34 fairly i say unto you this generation shall not pass until these things be fulfilled and also then he goes on to say heaven and earth shall pass away but my words will never we're talking about the end of the tribulation here now as we can see in the king james we looked at this verse a generation because it's it's a high topic at the moment the fig tree generation and what is a generation all the rest of it so just an indicator because it's about to come at the end of the 80 or the 70 years 80 years it will come but just let's for your benefit look accurately as to what it says in the greek from a presumed derivative of g1085 greek 1085 a generation by implication and age could be the bronze age stone age that's what it means by age the period of the persons the reign of king henry v could be an age the roman empire could be an age the period of a person's the age generation nation time so there's quite an area into what a generation means so we have to go back to scripture and break up who who is what who is what in matthew now it's also when you see all these things know that the that that it is nigh okay that it is nigh now learn the parable of the fig tree okay so we're talking the fig tree the fig tree is not the church the fig tree is israel it's a fact okay i'll not argue with that one so back to so likewise ye shall see all these things what things so when the parable of the fig tree was come to the end of the fig tree we're seeing all what we're talking about so likewise you should all see all these things because it says verily i say unto you this generation shall not pass away till all these things be fulfilled okay shall be fulfilled this generation the jewish israelite generation okay which is now by the way this don't don't get confused 
So let's go back at all these things. Everton and Green are these things. We should see all these things. Then shall they deliver you up unto, to be afflicted and shall kill you and you shall be hated all nations for my name's sake. Okay? Who's the most hated nation in the world? Google it. It's Israel. And then you shall, oh, most persecuted. And then you shall be many offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. Three, and many false prophets shall raise and shall deceive many. Four, and because of iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Five, when ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation spoken by the Daniel, by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whose readeth let him understand, mid tribulation, okay, regarding the Jews, they're still here. Six, then let them which are be in Judea flee unto the mountains. Seven, let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. It'll be that bad. We'll see it, or they'll see it. Eight, neither let them which is in the field return back and take his clothes. So we'll see that. Nine, and woe unto them that in that are with child, and be them, and give suck unto them days. Ten, <laughs> There's these things, the fig tree generation will see. Okay. Now, I'm not dismissing or adding or taking away or anything to hear because wait and see what else we've got because it's good news at the end of this message. So we read on. 11. If any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or therefore believe it or not. 12. That's already happening, by the way. You know, that's happening to a degree. But remember who we're talking about, the Christ, the Messiah, their Messiah. They're already doing it. 12. For there shall arise false Christ, false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders inasmuch that, if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Who's the very elect? Those that are standing in Christ at the moment. The church dispensation. Behold, I have told you before or beforehand. Wherefore, if you shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, Go not, go not forth, because he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. So there's 13 of things that are to be seen by the fig tree generation before the coming of the Lord. The second coming. This is the second coming. Matthew, first part, to Israel, is the second coming of Christ. Do not get confused. But we'll clarify why there's two things happening in Matthew 24. Before we go into Matthew 25 or 23, we're just looking at 24, breaking it down. You did say you want to hear everything I've got. And sometimes when you put everything you've got, people will come on going, oh, it's not, it's not. This is what the word says. This is what it says to me. So, but let's read on. Immediately after the tribulation in those days, after the tribulation, shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of heaven and earth shall be shaken. Now this could sound like the destruction of the temple in 70 AD, but now we say it's not, because now things are happening that did not happen at the end or during the destruction of the temple of 70 AD. There's a difference here. This is talking about what we haven't seen yet. They will see it all happen and hopefully we'll not be there. I'm coming to that. Um, well, I know we're not going to be there. But they're, they're gonna, the, the, this is going to be seen before the second coming of Christ. Okay, what we're reading now, what we've just read proves that it wasn't the destruction in the temple, 70 AD. So we read on, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. This is him coming back, our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, at the end of the tribulation. Then shall the tribes of the earth mourn as they see the Son of Man come in the clouds of heaven with power and glory. 
and he shall send his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from once from one end of heaven to the other this could refer to two things or two interpretations one that this is the tribulation um, wrong this is the rapture saints getting called from the heavens of the earth uh, heavens and the earth the four corners of the earth uh, to come back with our Lord Jesus Christ um, slightly after his return maybe um, or it could be a factor that all the Jews are getting called to Israel which indeed they are but it's not in the right place I think it's more us getting brought back everybody being brought um, in our glorified bodies back on to the earth to clean up operation to mop up let me know your thoughts I'm not fixed on anything I'm a watchman a watchman brings everything out to the table but it's got to come out of scripture and it's got to be accurately interpreted as best we can remember the tribulation um, is a mystery at the moment seven trumpet it is he will reveal his mystery at that point and then we'll have to then we can understand but let's read on because now it's getting a bit more isn't it so in Matthew 24 31 as it explained his angels with a great sound of a trumpet and, and, and I believe that's the gathering of us okay so tie that one in with rapture as far as I'm concerned but you have to discern yourselves now learn the parable of the fig tree this is where it comes in okay quite a way down the while now learn the parable of the fig tree when it branches is yet tender and putteth forth leaves ye know that summer is nigh nigh you know that something's going to happen okay you know it's going to drop okay so likewise when you see all these things we've just read 13 of them when you see all these things know that the end is near remember that at the beginning of the chapter it's the disciples on the temple asking when will the end happen we'll go back to that before I go into the exciting bit Verily I sent to you generation will not pass away till these are done okay heaven and earth so there it is heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall never pass away the above will not be surprised is not a surprise correct the above will not be a surprise because they can see all these things likewise she shall see all these things go back to the beginning of the chapter Jesus foretells the destruction of the temple okay but it's not the destruction of the temple so that's wrong and all that's King James for you okay I, I love it it's my book but it's not the destruction of the temple it is he, he does foretell the destruction of the temple but it's not the complete picture because Jesus went out and departed from the temple and the disciples came to him for show him the buildings of the temple and Jesus said unto them see all these things very very I say unto you they shall not be once left here one stone upon another so the heading does say the destructions of the temple but then the, the, the disciples but it, it shows so much more sorry I got confused there I've got the title up because it goes on then the signs of the end okay so in fact I, I, I missed that so I'm a fool let's stay with it the destruction of the temple is here it's actually been divided for us see how much we understand you've probably seen that when we diligently go over and over a scripture trying to understand it you know I didn't see that in the heading because I use so many different Bibles but regarding Israel okay is my bit this is regarding Israel Jesus foretells the destruction of the temple then it goes on the signs of the end of the age so it's divided for those who think it already happened in the first century it didn't so just to go back and he sat upon the Mount of Olives and the disciples came to him and privately saying tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of the coming of the end it's talking about the end of the world okay now if we scroll down to the interesting bit okay we go into the church okay why is it different why is Israel scripture ending in 2435 start in 2436 differently let's read off I don't know how many's counted here 
No one knows the day nor the hour, okay? Oh, that belongs in the other one, actually. Only my Father in heaven. But as for the days of Noah were like also the coming of the Son of Man, for as in the days of Noah were before the flood, they were not eating and drinking and marrying or giving in marriage until the day of Noah ended. So, sorry again. Surprise, surprise, surprise. All these seen, seen, seen. Okay? We're now on to what we will not see. The glorious appearing of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ to rapture the bride. So, surprise, but only that no one knows the day or the hour, yeah? We will know the day or the hour in the tribulation because they'll have seen all them things. But as in the days of Noah, we shall be coming of the Son of Man be, okay? A surprise. In th uh, three, for as in the days that were before the flood, with the, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage until that day that Noah entered the ark. Surprise. Surprise four. And knew not until the flood came. Sorry, three, I've mixed this up. And took them all the way. Shall it also be the coming of the Son of Man? Surprise five or four. Then it shall be in the field. Then two shall be in the field. The one shall be taken and the other one left. Surprise. Six. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken and the other one left. Watch therefore, guys. Come on. Watch therefore. For ye know not the hour the Lord doeth come. He could come any time. But know this. That if the good man of the house had known him, known him, what watch the thief would come he would have watched where to watch our job is to keep your lamps lit i'm perishing here <laughs> excuse me drink of water i'm struggling but i will get this out and i hope i've made a, a, not a meal of it and a mix of it but we can see in a nutshell in a recap the difference just in that scripture in matthew 24 of how he's talking to Israel about the, the destruction of the temple and the end of days the Lord's second will come in, uh, come in. and now we're going on to the church which is all a surprise everything in the fig tree generation okay uh, will be seen they will know when the Lord's coming or they will expect him highly because they can count off when that abomination of desolation gets into the temple there's three and a half years to go or they're about of hell in the tribulation but we don't know there's something happening that doesn't know who could that possibly be it's the church brothers and sisters we're going home and it could be any time we will not endure the wrath so there it is put up at the top of the fig tree generation in my opinion we will not endure the tribulation period and all the bad things that are going to happen it's a duplicate very much so of the destruction of the temple 70 AD a duplicate prophecy two times prophecy whatever you want to call it but there it is I hope you enjoyed that it's been a bit of a struggle for me to get out but I had to work on it and do it and explain let me know if you like well two things do you mind me sharing these things I haven't given a day or an hour because no man knows he will come when the Lord tells him to come and get us that's pretty clear now we've cleared that one up we will look another scripture but what I would like to do is go on and look from the church age on in Matthew and I probably will do that um, as soon as I feel better to do it but brothers and sisters I will leave you tonight and say may God bless you keep you make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. Sorry for the mumbling. God bless.